All right, my question is comparing Doe Flamingo and Whitebeard for a second. Random, but um, gone. They, <laughs> okay. they were both like have really big family dynamics to their crews. And I was thinking about this and I was trying to figure out who do you guys think was like a better family man for their for their crews? Whitebeard or Doe Flamingo? <laughs> Yeah, this is so funny because I made this comparison before on the Discord where somebody was like ripping Dopey and I was like, he's more like Whitebeard than you think. And I went through all the similarities about caring about their crews and being blonde and being conquerors and all types of stuff. It's Whitebeard is the correct answer. I want to troll and say Dopey. For real? Okay. It, 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 yo, it is because there's uh, actions that he's taken where he put his family above himself. Yeah. Doe Flamingo has mm. never at any point in his entire history <laughs> yeah. with any wait family minute, member wait a minute. done that. He has, though. He only betrayed his crew when they betrayed him. He was down for Baby 5 until Baby 5 turned on him. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, when did Monet betray Doe Flamingo? Because he was 100% willing Monet? to... Yeah, I don't remember when Monet did Monet betray Doe no, Flamingo. No, I but he was one hundred percent willing to let her die for his ambition, just to not be inconvenienced. You know uh, what I'm saying? Uh, like, well, she wasn't as close though. Nah, nah listen, nah. bro. Nah, she this, wasn't this, close, this, bro. This, my she point is, close. my point is, there is no level of family member that Whitebeard has where he would be like, "Yo, can you just die for me real quick, so like I don't have to deal with this." That would never yeah. happen with well, anybody yeah. that's ever been close or considered family to Whitebeard, and he didn't just do. It to Mo he did it to Virgo too, who was his like longest running roommate. I have a rebuttal, but go ahead. By, by all means, but like, yo, he was yeah. willing to let every single one of the people in his family die for his own personal gain. Yes, he does have an element of family, man. He did care about them. He never prioritized or cared about them beyond his own goals <clears throat> ever at any time. Point. And that's what makes Dofi great, is that he's both of these people. It's like, oh, I care. I'm going to fight for you. I'll do everything. Don't mock them. Like, this is my only family. But, like, if it means I got to fight Kaido, y'all can all die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's okay. Dofi. That's not the case with Whitebeard. But if you have a rebuttal, by all means. I like, do. So this would be better said as a Doflamingo analysis mm -hmm. on his character. But hear me out for a second. When we talk about Whitebeard, in comparison to Doflamingo, just regular power-wise as people, Whitebeard is a freak of nature. There's not many people that can compete with him and his strength. So when he's building this family, his family is able to be taken care of under his shadow to the point where they never really have to face such degrees of threats. Because they know if that happens, then White Bear's gonna come after them. They daddy coming, yeah. Yeah, so there's really never a time where like something like that happens to his crew, where Doflamingo isn't as strong. He actually has to manipulate behind the scenes, which causes sometimes his family members being put into positions where they can be killed. If we look at it in that aspect, we really know there's a power dynamic between both of them where they have to put themselves into harm's way more than another. Then we have the additional sacrifices of crew members on their ships where White Bear goes, hey, if any of you kill each other, just realize you're gonna have to deal with me. What ended up happening? One crew member decided to kill another crew member and he let that person go, which then caused the devastation of his crew being separated, but also one of another of his sons to die as well. Whitebeard has that stain on his record, but when we look at Doflamingo, we can say from an early childhood that Doflamingo as a kid kind of cared about family. Family. What made it realistic for him was that he only cared about family when it came to status. So if his status was somehow interrupted or given less of, he would get into this mode where he would have to reach higher to that status. When he knew that Virgo was on Punk Hazard, and he knew that Monet was on Punk Hazard, and when they had to sacrifice themselves, what did Doflamingo immediately do? He went there. He went there. Yeah. Because to some degree, I'm pretty sure psychologically, when he lost Rosanante, when he had to kill his father, when his mother died, family became somewhat very important to him. That's why he built one afterwards that's why rosanante he knew the whole time was betraying him but when it finally came to the surface and it directly interfered with his status of being immortal he was like i have to kill my own brother now i don't think that they're comparable too much but i think that if we're to say who's a bigger family man it's not so far-fetched to say that doflamingo bro. might be the bigger one bro. because if he had that yes, degree bro. he would have just oh never God, went bro. to punk hazard bro. he would have never put himself in harm's way to fight hey, whatever man. was left over but, from that but larry i'm gonna let you go because hey, i have a rebuttal but i'm gonna let you go Lawrence. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you go. They are both, uh, in a way, family men 
in their own personality, their own way of it. Going with what Sebastian was saying is, but you check how also Doflamingo checks, uh, views his family, will treat his family. Because you want to think about one screams out, Bellamy. That's not a family member. No, no, but yeah. He, he viewed no. him as outside the family. Yeah, but this is someone who tried being part of your family. Mm -hmm. So like to me, it depends on how Doflamingo views you in a way how valuable or how an asset you are. Right before he told them, um, he went to, he went there, he did tell Monet, die for me. That's true. He said, die for me first. Then when things are not working out, he will go there. So what I see is, uh, Dolphin, he's a family man, but he's also a very business-oriented man. And yes, it will hurt him doing it, but if you interfere with his goal, his business, I got to put you down. Because like you said, he did feel some type of way with Corazon because he got mad. He goes, you're making me do this to you. I have to pull the trigger on you, my own brother. He felt it, but he's still willing to do it. He will do it no matter what because you're interfering with his goal. So he's a family man, but it's like, anyway, for example, his family is ornate around him, that he's the sole person, the number one in the family. If you go outside of what he, how he designed his family, I'm putting you down. So his family all sides is like how I deem whatever. You're not, you don't have freedom to mm -hmm. do whatever you want. But I do find it interesting. Like even though he's supposed to be like his this king, his persona, like you know, a slusher dragon and stuff. But I noticed he is very patient with his family. They yeah. all have very different quirks about them. That he's willing to put up with. But in Wiper's perspective, he's more of the protective father. Well, this dude's like, all right, I'm the more like I'm the family, but I'm the leader in this family. And you go outside it, I kill you. That's Doflamingo. Whitebeard was more like I'm the protective father he had a cause that if anyone it was a it was known fact throughout the world you touch you harm you hurt any one of whitebeard's family his sons whitebeard's coming at you on himself and he's going to probably kill you mm -hmm. so it's like a protection there and he, so he had this cause of like everyone he's willing to die for his family though Mingo was not willing to die from anyone yeah. in his family there's a big difference there so, so it's not anyway there's no greater love than someone who's willing to die for yo, you but this is the difference too not to cut you off so no. but the difference is doflamingo had that family figure he had that white beard figure where it was like yo he cared more about family than status and his father and then what he realized was that people aren't nice and what they will do is they'll destroy your family but doflamingo saw his father figure as yo you killed our family you mm -hmm. took us away from what protected us mm -hmm. so ultimately when i look at family I've looked at it as like people are gonna betray you. Mm -hmm. So therefore I have to act in accordance because I can literally say that Doflamingo, when he witnessed Monet and Virgo sacrifice their lives for him and they were happy to do so as a more endearment of love than what his father did. Where we have Whitebeard who saw that Thatch died, did nothing. Yeah. But then he went after Ace. So clearly he has favorites, mm -hmm. but then also mm -hmm. his family got destroyed immediately after that. I feel you, but what you, what, you, what you guys are arguing is the approach versus what it is in the actuality. Doflamingo's family isn't blood or anything. It's a mafioso-esque family where if you mess up or if you're the cause for the downfall of the family, we will kill you ourselves. Like, we will allow you to die. We will kill you ourselves because this is a mob mentality. We are a mob. I'm the Don. Mm -hmm. Y'all, my family is the mafia family that we have, but y'all are still my subordinate slash assets. If y'all are messing up, snitching, switching up, making mistakes, I reserve the right to kill you because that's who you are. You're a pawn in my game. I'm gonna call you family. I'm gonna keep you close. I'm gonna protect you and all that stuff. I'm going to insulate you. But if you mess up, that's the stakes. Yeah. I will kill you. I reserve the right to do that. They loved him so much. They were fine with that. Yeah. Monette was fine dying for him. Virgo was fine dying for him. Mm -hmm. And you're right. It does hit him emotionally because he does actually care yeah. for these people. Yeah. But he will never care for them more than he cares for himself right. or his own ambitions because again he wasn't in any real danger it was just inconvenient yeah. to have Law and Luffy and them take season he could have figured it out with Kaido mm -hmm. it was just yo this is mad inconvenient for me Mm -hmm. I would rather sacrifice multiple members of my family yep. than deal with that inconvenience. Okay. Mm -hmm. In Whitebeard's case, yes, in, in practice, you might agree that Doflamingo took care of his family situation better than Whitebeard does because he nipped stuff in the butt. He was willing to let two die to protect the family. Whitebeard wasn't willing to make those sacrifices. He was willing to put the entire family at risk to save one son. You can argue the practicality of that if you want. The genesis of the decision is love for these people is love for that son Virgo got caught by the marines that he was he was actually loyal to doflamingo he would never challenge any marine like he would never go to marine Ford for virgo or anybody there's not a soul in the world that he would have went to marine Ford to fight to get them back break into impel down to fight he wouldn't do any of that he'd be like damn that sucks gotta choke it up to the game I'll see if I can get you out. I'll use my connects, maybe. <laughs> it's not gonna be what Whitebeard did. And even yeah. then, Whitebeard still showed, yo, I'm gonna put myself on the line for y'all. Y'all can leave. Y'all came because y'all love and respect me and, and Ace. But if y'all don't wanna be here, if y'all think 
I manipulated you to be here. You can leave. Yeah, y'all can yeah, go. Yeah, yeah that freedom. Because yeah. I love y'all enough that I'll die to make sure y'all are safe. None of that is the case with Del Flamingo. He's a manipulator. Again, I'm not saying he doesn't care about the family. There's a different level. Yeah. If you want to argue the practices of each of them as far as captaining the crews, listen, I'm a Dofi fan all day. I'll argue tooth and nail that he's a better captain than anybody. But <laughs> what? I'm so serious. You can't tell me he's a better family man than Whitebeard, bro. I'm sorry. No, but also go my. I know I mentioned Bellamy, but if you want to go in that same case, Squardo. If Bellamy wasn't part of that oh, family, yeah. Squardo in a way wasn't part of Whitebeard's immediate family because he wasn't part of his crew. He was like affiliate mm-hmm. crew. Yet this man Squardo stabbed Whitebeard. Mm-hmm. Yet after he got stabbed, Whitebeard hugged him like a son. And said, "No, you are my son, and I value you. I'm willing to die for you." That's what I'm trying to the difference where like where Doflamingo would treat someone. In the same situation as Bellamy and uh, Guardo, it's like, you're trash. Where White is like, no, you're your yeah, son. Even though you're not part you, of my immediate family, you're you still had, your son. You had to be valuable to yeah. Doflamingo to yes. even be considered potentially yeah. part of the family. I needed to have value. You needed to add something to the table. White Bear, it could have been... Like, yeah. I don't care who's fa- who your father is, etc. Like it didn't matter. So, because yeah, because I think Bellamy was not really favored. Overall, you are right, but I could use that same argument, mm-hmm. right? You talk about the detriment of what Dofi means to his crew. Mm-hmm. The detriment is just as high with Whitebeard. Whitebeard, to a degree, lives in abusive type of fatherly lifestyle. Like, if his kids ever acted out or turned against him, he wouldn't fight back against them, right? Like, he'd probably just let them swing off on him until, like, they felt better about this or felt bad about the situation. That same type of love wasn't always the correct type of love. It was actually kind of toxic. He allowed Ace to just go. He allowed Blackbeard to just get away with that. He allowed Thatch to just die. Everybody well, allowed Thatch to die. But like, <laughs> he got stuck and killed. But at the end of the day, like you gotta punish sometimes your child. And like he didn't punish Squardo. Okay, so at all. Be- because the mm-hmm. well, so two mm-hmm. things, two things. You're basically reprimanding Whitebeard because the retaliation or the punishment for the action wasn't immediate. He had every intention of dealing with Blackbeard. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. What? It's, yo, what? Bro. Like, literally, Shanks had to come on ship and be like, yo, you gonna handle this or not? Yo. <laughs> and he was like, bruh. yo, mind your business. Bro, y'all are wildin' if y'all think Whitebeard was just letting it slide. Okay, why did him and Ace argue about it? Ace was trying to go right then by himself and just go. You know what I'm saying? Dad, yes, why he would was you like, wait? yo, chill. Why would you wait? Let's figure this out this man is collecting a crew together literally left and you being the world's strongest man having this threat to where people like buggy say you see that on ace's back you better not touch Ace because that gives you I, y'all, the permission. Y'all, y'all are like, saying you're gonna have a didn't after. live up Larry, to Larry, the status that Larry. he got throughout the world and that's fair I don't think you should argue with it. Luffy would have went after him. Yo, he like, he he, we just talked about Kaido going the whole he would've. Killed, Blackbeard legit killed crew member. Yeah, he would have. And Whitebeard didn't, he just didn't do anything. Listen, I'm going I, what I'm going to gonna say is, I think they're equal. But equal? I think, I, I think they're equal, but for different reasons. One is on one side of the coin because he retaliates, and the other one doesn't. You know what I'm saying? I think they're Bro. equal in love. It's just how you assume what's more love or not. Yo, Dofi. And where you're on on the moral spectrum. Because I can look at it from Dofi's way and be like, yo, I understand why he feels this way about his crew and what he does. Like, I understand why he goes to such lengths. It's because he's seen it firsthand destroy his own family. He, Him and his younger brother, who he Man. took care of, by the way, were eating Man. out of garbage. Man, listen. Like, they were eating pure garbage at one point, throwing up from the garbage. Yo, we talk about love, Larry. Like, actual love, bro. Yo, his father was the, the epitome of that. Don't think I don't love nothing but himself, bro. But if that was true, he just would have never came to Punk Hazard. No, nah, it's all still a, a means to an end. He benefits from all of this. He still enjoys the company. He still enjoys having people do the work for him. He still cares about these people. I'm talking about love, bro. I'm talking love about putting somebody love. before yourself. He's incapable of that acting. Yeah, incapable. I, what I just explained, though, he saw it firsthand. He saw that love and decided to go against it because it didn't serve him well. It didn't give him a better life. Yo, that's it fair, but it, it still makes him, him the character he is. Hold he on, still d- acts the That's he acts. my point. It didn't create a deeper sense of love for him. It said, yo, this is the wrong type of love. This love will get you killed. I've seen it firsthand. We talk about fishmen and racism, right? And like how people just hate fishmen because they have fins and blue skin and whatever, whatever, right? Doflamingo, just coming into the world, was known as a celestial dragon. And people hated him for that he did nothing to them until he started spouting the mm-hmm. bend before me i mean put your knee again you know to the floor like whatever whatever but ultimately 
They just heard about them living there and went after to kill them. As children, he was hung by a window with his father and brother and heard his father begging for their lives because he put whatever morals he thought and to make his family a better morally loving people into the forefront. And he saw that love, but then it backfired completely where that doesn't really happen with Whitebeard, right? Because I, I said it before, it's about what type of power you already have in order to initiate that love. Mm -hmm. That love was toxic to him. It didn't serve him. You're making but, excuses for no, me. No, no, uh, I got one up right here. All right. But look, let's go this way. Let's put cortisone into this factor. He experienced the same thing that Flamingo did. Look at his response. He actually became more loving. It was trying to share that love what his father had with others and try to save the law. Because he realized that Doflamingo, the way he reacted towards what they both experienced, was more of a selfish way. Okay. Who got them out of the situation when they were tied up on the window? Dofi. Dofi, right? Mm -hmm. Who didn't? Their Rosanante. Dad. Their dad or Rosanante, neither. Exactly. Them, yeah. But that's also because Rosanante would let things happen to him. And that's the difference. He wouldn't, he fought for law. He tried to show love, compassion for law. But it was the fact that Doflamingo was a survivor. And that's the difference is that he was going to survive to make sure that what happened to him never happened again. Yes, Rosanante felt that love and distributed it. But ultimately, he died, right? Mm -hmm. And it wasn't for himself, as we all proclaim, because it is for Dofi. But Dofi realizes that at the end of the day, I can't love if, I, if I'm dead. Yo, it's just... It's the it's, same coin. No, it's the yo, same it, coin. Yo, it's like, it, 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 it is. But, it, but it's probably because like, what Doflamingo was shouting out when he was being, you know, hanged from uh, the tree shows what was in his heart. Because he knows the reason why they're doing this is because of the way they were treated. The way they would treat others, the way the Cesar Dragons had been treated, and Doflamingo was raised with that. He saw nothing wrong with the way Cesar Dragons were raised. So that love is wasn't nurtured in him at all. Yo, uh, yo, and so, he kind of showed that later on. Yo, but he's but also like six years old. Yo, that's not yeah, even, that's, that's not even, that that is the genesis of it all. But I'm just saying in the way that they conducted themselves as men to their family. One of them was doing this out of true love for the people that was in his life, and the other one was doing it because these people were beneficial to him. You can slice it however you want. You can justify it however you want. Mm -hmm. You can use whatever perspective you want to make what Doflamingo did seem better to you. But at the end of the day, that's the truth. Whitebeard actually cared about the people he called his sons. Yeah. Doflamingo cared to a degree. There was a threshold he was never willing to cross. Yeah. And it was putting himself in real danger for them. But this is the that thing too, happen. right? That they both came from a lack of love. Doflamingo had a distorted type of perspective around love and what celestial dragons actually taught him because they are educated in their ways and to believe certain things. And he fully believed that, but he's a child. We can't judge a child for thinking that his reality is wrong when his reality is taught to him. But even so, you're talking about nature versus nurture. What's inside of you compared to what's on the outside of you and what influences your own self-being? Whitebeard, he wasn't loved as a child from what we've seen, yeah. but he's always had the power to dismantle anybody that's ever threatened him. That's my point regarding these two individuals, and this is what I said in the beginning, is that, yes, like, Doflamingo does seem psychotic. He is psychotic. He's realized what love can do. Love isn't always a great thing. Love can be super poisonous or it could be super, it could give you gratification beyond belief. But there are times where like love is a, is, is a drug and it's addictive and it's, it's destructive. And like that's what he realized was that the opposite end of love isn't always the best thing. I have to somehow be within the middle grounds of it. I know what's not to be taken advantage of and I know what's going to take advantage of me. Maybe Doflamingo loved too hard. I mean, and Whitebeard loved, like, that, I'm, I'm serious. And maybe Whitebeard, yo, I'm serious. Yo, I'm serious. Yo, bro. Yo, Dofi was my favorite that, like, characters, bro. Sorry, you got to chill out. Did yo, you say Doflamingo loved too hard? Yo, yeah. maybe he did. And that's what, that's if, what, if you're saying that's love, what pushed him. love himself too hard, you know I mean? But it's both. One, it's both. I'm going to show you this right now. I thought I was going to shoot his blood. Real love is not toxic. People love wrong, and people have misunderstanding. 1,000%. Yo, but misunderstanding what real love White is. Whitebeard didn't love correctly either. Yo, but they're human. And then they're human. They're going to make the mistakes. Point. Yo, but you're knocking Whitebeard for his mistakes, but you're giving Doflamingo credit no, for no, his. No, 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 I'm no. Not, I'm not you giving, know what I mean? I'm not giving Doflamingo any credit. I'm just trying to present an idea that maybe he's not truly the monster that we all think he is, maybe he was forced to be that monster. I'm not Damn. saying you're wrong. I'm just saying, but he, yes, he was nurturing that, but the main thing is you have legit... I know, example, you so have, he went through the same thing, Corazon. bro. Okay, you, have, you have Corazon. But also, I will say this. 
But when they're young age, though, it was more nurtured for Doflamingo. Only in the aspect when Trebo and the other ones kind of met Doflamingo, they nurtured that false sense of superiority in Doflamingo. He would trip on the ground in some place. And they'd burn it to they the would ground. burn it to the ground. Like, yeah. you know, you're a king. You can't do that. Someone would mistreat him uh, or say something, look at him wrong. They would go and destroy that entire village. We saw it when Doflamingo was a grown man. He was about to get dropped by Lofi or Law. They said, do not let your knees touch the ground because you're special. Corazon didn't receive them. Corazon had more towards it. He's perf- imperfect too, but had more of a example of what real love is in Doflamingo because Doflamingo was all self-centeredness. Maybe the truth of the matter is the only reason Rosanante actually knew how to love the way he did was because of Dofi. Killing his dad? Larry, you're getting wild. No, hold on, 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 listen, 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 listen to me, listen to me, hold on for a second, guys, what I'm saying is, Rosanante and his dad never get out of that situation, they just end up dying, right, so it forces Dofi to do such things, and you just mentioned that Doflamingo was sort of nurtured from Diamante and Trouble to believe that he's of a certain kingly ambition, he's never to have his knees touch the floor and etc., right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What if I told you through that he garnered family because he wanted family and then Rosanante viewed him as that, but he didn't like the way Doflamingo went about getting this family. He didn't like the way he would go out and like kill people or manipulate people or take over kingdoms and such, right? But ultimately when he met Law and Law is 12 years old, I believe, and he says to Law while him and his family are eating dinner together. He says to Law, how did you escape Flevoland's kingdom? And then Law responds, well, I don't really know. I just was trying to escape. Uh, Law goes, well, I hid under some dead bodies as well. And then Gladius almost throws up on the, uh, like his food while they're eating, right? And then Doflamingo's next question, and this is what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tell everybody. The next question was, who do you bear your grudge against? And Law said, nobody. I just want to kill as many people as I can before I die. And he starts laughing. So Doflamingo right there views Law as probably as his younger self. He had this huge grudge against the world because of what happened to him. That's so true. yes, his love may be twisted, but I don't think that it's a it's the darker side of the coin for sure. But I don't think it's to the point where like we can't say he doesn't love at all. There is a certain type of love. It's just the way he goes about it. Like Rosanante might have seen that and garnered like, damn, he loves really hard. Yo, but I could I could argue the opposite. <laughs> he could have saw laws, yo, I can easily manipulate this child. That's true. You know what I mean? Like he might have seen a em- se- semblance yeah. of himself in that, yes. But it's like, oh, I can get this kid to do my bidding. I can groom him into being the number two. Like, that's what yeah, the game plan yeah, was. Yeah, that was the game I can plan. get this child to do whatever. Mm. He's going to die soon anyway. That's it. It's, yo, there's value in this. Yes. This is a child who's willing to do these crazy things. His life is expendable yeah. to me. Yo, but that's my point, too. It was because, like I said before, it was about status, right? Mm-hmm. Doflamingo saw that endearment from this person willing to sacrifice their life for him as a term of love. Whereas his father didn't do that. His mm-hmm. father actually sacrificed his kids and wife. Hey, uh, no. So uh, what I'm saying we, is we've been on this too long. Wait, yo, wait. It's, it's so interesting. Wait, it's interesting. His dad offer his life. Yo, he to try does. Save him and his brother. He does. Yeah, he does. Yes, but he also he viewed does. It, but he they... went down to the surface not expecting the world to yo, hate them, yo, and then up. they start hating them, you... and his wife dies. And then when they're about to kill Dofi, his son, and Rosinante, he's like, "Don't kill my sons. Kill me." Hold up, you. So went... he he does that. You went. You asked this that. question. You posed this. You did this. Okay. You pose the question. <laughs> so how you gonna be like Dopey's wrong in this situation? <laughs> when question listen, I haven't even gone to state my argument. Go ahead, Y'all man. been going for like thirty minutes. <laughs> huh? <laughs> well <laughs> Y'all y'all have given me a lot of thoughts at this time. Mm. Um okay. What well, okay, I know what I'm gonna say now. Uh yeah, I'm kinda on Larry's side. Whitebeard's a bad father. And Yo, that's not the question though. <laughs> that wasn't your question. question. You said who's a the better family was, who's man? A better family man. Oh, the question is who's a better family man? And I'm saying Do Flamingo was a better family man. Because the question is, uh, you guys are talking about like love versus um competence. It was like love versus competence. And to me, being a good like head of your family is while yes you love your while like, yes you love your family, you would do anything for them. If your kids aren't competent and they can't take care of themselves, 
Like, you're not going to be around forever. You're going to die. Okay, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, point. hold on, hold on, hold on. This is, this is some sh- right here. Whitebeard ran what? his crew for, like, 40 years, yo. You know That's what I'm saying? That's fine. And yo, he, when he got he sick, he to, hold on. Die. We crumble in the last two years? And Don't Flamingo with nah, his little 10-year-old? he was sick for run? way longer than that, hold bro. Hold on. He was sick for way no. longer than that. Yo, but, but Thatch White didn't die. Hold on. But Thatch, crew behind. Thatch didn't die. Like, it all crumbled when Thatch died. Right, which was six months. No, like, it was crumbling before that. Yo, it might have been crumbling, but nothing, nothing major happened that you would have been like he's a bad father. Thatch's death was the spark. Don Flamingo has I guess, a but fraction. Just, it was just of, the inevitable happening. Don Flamingo has a fraction of the time in and lost the same number of crewmates. Yo, can I just <laughs> make? Can I just? Can I just nah, 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 nah. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Wait, okay. Listen, I am willing to make the argument, and this might be a wild take. I'm willing to make the argument that Whitebeard's division commanders are weaker, or at least not as strong, or at least equal to Dofi's crew. I am. <laughs> Yo, can, can I just I'm say, willing to sit on that. I'm, I'm willing I'm to the... say that if we took away their captains, guys, if we took away their captains, if we took away Dofi and Whitebeard and said, okay, 12 division commanders, Marco, Ace, all of them, versus, um, what is it, Treble, Lao G. What Pika and they go head to head. It's not an easy fight for the white beard. I'm, I'm here to because tell Marco you this. Is when you have white beard, you get Marco. All right, hold on, hold on. I do want to say one thing what? before we like end it. Doflamingo's whole thing was trying to obtain the op op fruit. And what's the op op fruit shaped like? A heart. A heart? That's no, love. No. Oh, oh my god. god. That's yo, love. Yo, 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 it all connects, you're bro. Stop. Please stop. You're, you're, you're all connects. Stop. He's oh trying goodness. to obtain a heart because he has oh none. Goodness. That's what it actually is. That's the actual okay. symbolism. I'm, I'm just going to ask one oh question. Oh, my God. So, so, that upset me. That, <laughs> so, oh, that so we gonna, me. I'm going to ask one question. What is the opposite of love? Hate. Hate. It's not hate. Indifference. What is it? Hate? What is it? It's not hate. What is Isn't it? it indifference? No, it's not indifference. The opposite of love is selfishness. If you are selfish, you cannot be loving. Because if you love someone, you're not going to do what they hate. So you should probably hate what... That's not true, bro. No. Yeah. You're not going to do what they nah, hate. bro. Because if I'm selfish to a degree, I love myself. What we're talking and about? loving myself is the oh. best love. That's the dopey love. I, that's <laughs> that's, that's the best love. <laughs> right? that's why, that's why I can you never do point. me wrong. All right? <laughs> Rebuttal Listen. that, Lawrence. That's <laughs> selfishness. Okay, okay. I have, I have you one very quick yourself, question. If you uh, right, go, go ahead, because we got to take another call. I have a go very ahead. quick question. Yeah. Okay, we saw when Whitebeard died, his crew fell apart. And it's not because of Thatch, okay? When Whitebeard died, that crew was going to fall apart. Whitebeard died, and who died? Ace is dead, Thatch is dead, Ezo is dead. We don't know who else is around. Dofi's crew just got captured because the Marines were there. So let's say this. Let's say Dofi just randomly passes away, right? And Whitebeard just randomly passes away. And the remnants of their crew are left to just, like, figure it out. Do you think Whitebeard's crew is holding together? No, they got Marco. <laughs> yo, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who, who's Marco? Who's united? Like, you're like, t- like yeah. bro, Virgo was a problem. What are we Virgo talking, was crazy strong, what are we was talking about right now, bro? Marco what? has never been anyone's yo, problem. Yo, yo. Right, this is a whole other discussion. Yo, yeah, what? We're going we're gonna to stay yeah. it at that. We're going to stay it at that. <laughs> yeah, I can't, yeah. But listen, man, okay. thank you for calling. Thank you for the question. It definitely <laughs> was, was an interesting question. topic. Uh, yo, thank you. Thank, right, you, thank you. Uh, y'all have a good night. Uh, you too, man. Talk to you later. We'll talk later. We'll talk later. <laughs> I'm dead, bro. <laughs>